it hibernates in cold weather. It estivates in warm and dry weather. It's, it's amphibians! amphibians! There are more than 4,000 different kinds of amphibians. Members of this animal class are frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, and blind worms. Some amphibians breathe through their skin. And others have small, simple, sac-like lungs in their chest cavity. Fertilized eggs hatch into two tadpoles. Tadpoles have fins, gills, and two chambered hearts. As tadpoles grow into frogs, they develop lungs, legs, and a three-chambered heart. And that process is called metamorphosis. Most frogs and toads use their tongues to capture prey such as insects, worms, and spiders. Salamanders and newts hide during the day and use well-developed senses of smell and vision to hunt worms, crustaceans, and insects at night. Amphibians help keep insects' population in balance, and amphibians provide food for other animals. Amphibians are biological and dictators whose overall health affects the health of a particular ecosystem. Amphibians have moist skin that is smooth, thin, and without scale. Oxygen and carbon dioxide is exchanged through their skin. They're able to this because they have capillaries directly beneath the skin and the lining of the mouth. In the three-chambered heart, one chamber receives oxygen-filled blood from the lungs and skin, and other chambers receive carbon dioxide-filled blood from the body tissue. Bird eggs can break. Amphibian eggs are less likely to break. It takes longer and it's harder to take care of their young. Amphibians won't abandon their babies if touched by someone else, like birds do. People use mammals for food, but few eat amphibians. For amphibians, it isn't hard to feed. They eat a variety of plants and insects. Birds, however, have to find berries, nuts, seeds, worms, insects, etc. Bad things about reptiles is that they kill their prey and eat it whole, and ours eats plants. Some reptiles don't even care for their young. Anybody could catch a frog when it's rainy, cool, or just in the woods. If amphibians run out of food, they eat their unhatched siblings. Some big animals kill small animals for fun. If their food and water supply stays high, they could help keep the population of bugs down. Amphibians are better because they don't take as much to take care of them and they never get aggressive. Even celebrities are frogs.